All right, now the webinar is scheduled and it has taken me to the webinar details page. The first section will show me the details that I've provided while scheduling the webinar. I can see use the presenter, the description, also see the topic, date and time, time zone. The next section is registration. So as I mentioned, uh, you can see the newly added feature customized registration form. So with this, you can make your prospects register for your webinar and collect useful information about them. You can either choose it from the predefined fields or you can also add custom fields to gather more information from the webinar registrants. So if I wanted to know about uh, the registrant's phone number, I'm including it, and I wanted to know from which industry they are from. So I'm choosing it. And if you want to add any custom questions, for example, you can also add questions here. Or if you have any multiple choice questions, put the question and use the multiple choice answers here. And you can add it. So if you need any of the custom fees to be a mandatory one, you can just enable the checkbox. Or if you want just phone number to be a mandatory one, you can do that. If you want to remove it, you can also remove it. So once done, I'm going to save the button. So now the customized registration form is ready. You can copy this link and put it in your blog or email signatures or wherever you want people to see it and register for your webinar. Now let me show you how the customized registration form will look like. So here, if you have your company name and logo uploaded in your Zoho meeting settings, you can find your, comp your registrants can find the company logo here. So here is the topic of the webinar. So as I said, I've scheduled the webinar in EDT. So you can also see it in ISC because ISC is my time zone. You can see local in the bracket. So similarly, your webinar registrants can find the timing in their time zone. You can see the description provided. Attendees have to put their name and email address to register. So these are all the other options that you want them to choose. So choose the phone number, select the industry, and they have to hit the register button to register for the webinar. So now they've successfully registered for the webinar. When the time comes, they can simply click on this link, join the webinar link to join, or once the registration is over, they will be receiving the webinar confirmation email. So they can also join the webinar from the email invite that they have received. So when people started to register for your webinar, you can find them here. So you can just go on to the registration section, view all the registrants. You can find the count here. Just click on the count. So you can see the registrants details like the username, email ID, and the registered time. So you can view the basic details here. So you you've also added uh, them to provide details like the phone number and the industry details. So if you want to uh, know more details that you have added in the custom field form of the registration, you can download it as the CSV file. So I'm just going to download it. So here you can find your registrant's name, register time, the phone number, the industry they are from, and the country they are from. You can also see the webinar details here. Okay. As said earlier, we will be providing an embed registration widget that you can, so this is how the widget will be like, the iframe code. This you can copy and embed it in your website or blog so that people can see it from your website and register directly. 